Hello, welcome to this video. Today I'm going to show you how within Bubble you can set up a multi-line input that allows you to do something when you press enter within the multi-line input. So normally within Bubble, when you press enter within a multi-line input, it just goes to the next line. But sometimes, I've had it multiple times in the Bubble, that I want a multi-line input, but I want it so that when someone presses enter, something happens, whether that is a form submitting or whether that's that um, input being saved somewhere or anything that you want, want something to happen rather than just go to the next line. So let me show you an example here. Let's say hello, and I'm gonna press enter. And then, um, yeah, as you can see, I've got a couple of things happening, just a little pop-up um, saying entered and it being saved. I think it's a custom state actually saying hello here. So actually something's happening when we're pressing enter. However, I can also use multiple lines, but this time just by pressing shift enter, and I can just say second line, and if I press enter again, it's gonna output that. So this can be quite useful in some different cases where you want to have a multi-line input, but you also want it so when they press enter, um, something happens. And I'm gonna show you exactly how we do that. So let's go over to the back end. So here we are in the back end, and this is just you know what you see. There's nothing fancy going on here. It's just a multi-line input and uh, some text, essentially, is it. Um, so the first thing that we're gonna need is um, a plugin. Plugin called 1T Input Watcher. Free plugin, all you do, just go up here and search 1T. Uh, they've got several different uh, plugins, but we want to go input, in fact, uh, let me go Input Watcher. And you'll find it, there we go, this one here. And just install that. Then that's gonna give us an element called Watch Input. So if we come over uh, to the Design tab again, uh, and we type in here uh, Watch Input, we're gonna drag this onto the screen. It doesn't matter where it goes on the screen, just anywhere. So just put the first element and it goes into the top left. Now, what we're gonna to want to do is um, we need to fill in this field here called the input ID. Now this is the ID of um, an element on the page. Um, and we get this by going to our input field. So whichever multi-line input um, that you want to kind of use as the target. So whenever enter is pressed from that, multi-line input something happens we want to go to that scroll down and at the bottom it will have id attribute now if you don't see id attribute what you'll need to do is go over to settings um i forget where it is general i believe it is right to the bottom and this one here where it says expose the option to add id attribute to html element you want to make sure that that's ticked and when it is ticked you'll see that this box appears at the bottom so if i put in here uh input box let's just call it that I'm gonna copy that, and I'm gonna go back over to the watch input, and I'm gonna put that in here, uh, in the input box. Then, what I want to do is I want to click this one. So this is essentially the whole point, um, is stopping enter creating a new line, because when enter is pressed, that's when I want something to happen. We can still press shift enter to create a new line, but um, yeah, we want enter to do something. So, then all we have to do is go over to the back end, and go, um, where is it? Watch, uh, where a watch uh, input is pressed. So there are several different ones here, but so you could do shift enter as well if you want an action to run when shift enter is pressed, or if you just want enter to be pressed, you can do that as well. So that's what I'm gonna do. So this is where we set something up. So um, let me just check how I've got things set up. I th so this is going from this group's uh, data source. Okay, so what we want to do is when the shift is uh, pressed, we want to display in the output group whatever text is in here. So uh, let's go here, display, and again, you can put anything in, in here that you want, but this is just as a test. So output group, and then this watch input, and that's gonna be the multi-line input that is enter is being pressed upon. And we're gonna go value, and I think that should be it. So if we now give this a, or in fact, let's give this page a reload. This is the one that we've been working on. Um, it should work just as it did at the beginning. We go test and then enter. There we go. And I go test two. Then we have that working as well. So there we can see very simply how you can set something up so that when a multi-line input has enter pressed, something happens and you can make that thing that happens anything. At the moment, we've just got it very simply displaying the output but you can have it saving to uh, or you know changing a thing that's in the database creating a new thing firing off back-end workflow anything that you want uh, when enter is pressed this can be quite useful just from changing how 
an application works. Uh, for instance, if you're trying to build chat functionality where you want people to be able to enter long messages, um, but also enter sends the message, you know, such as like WhatsApp or Slack, then this can be a good way to get that functionality. So hopefully that's been useful. Um, if you have any questions, please leave a comment down below and I'll do my best to get back to you. If you've liked it, then please give a thumbs up to this video. And if you want to see more videos like this, then please do just subscribe. And uh, yeah, there'll be more Bubble tutorials to come and helping you guys use Bubble and also start and scale your bootstrap sasses with Bubble. That's it for now. See you in the next video. Bye-bye.